habemus papam. Un semplice umile lavoratore nella vigna del Signore. Here's a man who, it seemed to me anyway, was, was a head and shoulders uh, above his generation uh, as a theologian. And, and yet he wore it very lightly and, um, and remained very interested and very personable. And, and he, had a, he had a quiet uh, German sense of humor, but he did have a sense of humor. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But my, my enduring memory of him is of a man who was kind and very gentle and very civil, a real gentleman. I think we all noticed how, how quickly he was elected after the death of, of Pope John Paul, that it seems to me that that, that's, that speaks for itself, that the cardinals who gathered clearly thought that here was a man in whom they could trust to, to guide the church into its next chapter. Um, so I think that speaks for itself, um, that there was, there was a sense of trust and I think in that regard, it was a success. And I would add to that, that having resigned, a, a man with his training and preparation and, and experience, that now gives the, the, the future popes, whoever they may be, the option and the opportunity, if they are failing in their health, to, to step down. And that is something else that I think he'll be remembered for, that there was a certain wisdom about that in, in helping us to see the possibility and the way to go about that with, with dignity and with calm and, and keeping, keeping the church together and united. Since he, he went to live in the monastery in the, in the Vatican Gardens, that in the afternoon, continuing a tradition that he had while he was Pope, he uh, liked to go for a walk and to say the rosary, and I believe that he has continued that throughout his retirement. He is, he is nothing if not a great churchman.